Google TV, um, which uh, Aaron is here to commemorate and kind of launch. We're going to have the official launch tomorrow where we're announcing the Drupal TV project. So tomorrow we're going to tell you all about what that involves. But, but I want to introduce right now a committer who's, I actually don't know anyone offhand. I can't think of someone that has more commits than our next speaker. In fact, he has at least, and with apologies, Larry Sir, he's got what? At least a quarter more, maybe twice as many commits as you to core. <laughs> um, it's it's if you if you want a, a, a model of, of like the model Drupal committer, like member of the community, the, the vision. I'm not gonna like kind of like go too crazy because we all we all know like how amazing Aaron Aaron has been and his contributions to Drupal to the Drupal community, and I think all of us recognize. Life. Yeah. Woohoo. Sarah Winborn. Woohoo. Hello. My name is Arian Winborn. I have been invited to speak this evening. I will try to make it brief, which will be easy thanks to having a rare, incurable terminal illness known as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease. After the famous baseball player who shared my illness, most of you likely know of my own struggles with the disease about how I am confined to this wheelchair, or about the breathing device which I am dependent on for 24-7, or about how the loss of the ability to control my breath has led me to speak to you via this assistive technology. My apologies for the quality of this voice. At least I am able to use a semblance of my own voice which I had the foresight and fortune to make two years ago. <laughs> Unlike Stephen Hawking, whose main complaint is that he sounds like a damn Yankee. <laughs> Apologies <laughs> to Mr. Hawking. Really so but okay. here, if I sound like a damn Yankee, well, it's no, because no. I am one. <laughs> Many of you may have witnessed my eyes close and very conversations not this weekend. I want to assure you that this is not because I find you boring, but it is a strange event of this disease. If, on the other hand, you find my eyes have shut during this speech, then perhaps it is because I find myself boring. <laughs> that would not be surprising considering that I am also now incapable of understanding spoken language without reading lips. Less visible are the daily struggles as my family and I continue to cope with the harsh and ever-changing realities of this travesty of human experience. For instance, the loss of the ability to eat sandwiches. I miss peanut butter and jelly <laughs> for the more important things, like being able to tuck my two young daughters Ashlyn and Sabina, into bed, or to be able to return a hug, let alone the resulting and utter loss of privacy as our house is transformed into a nursing home. But unless you think it's all fun and games, let me set the record straight. The worst thing that could happen tonight would be if a fly landed on my nose. <laughs> Although I still have some ability to wiggle my nose, those annoying pests seem to have an innate sense that my ministrations are ineffectual. I don't know if you're aware, but you just sitting here with me tonight is helping my family and me in a very tangible and visible way. The organizers of Drupal Camp Nice 13 have generously decided to donate 100% of the proceeds after expenses of this event 
to a special needs trust that has been set up to help my family with our finances. No longer able to work as an employee. Some of my time has been freed up to be more active in the true issue is one of my true loves in life. And I want to take the opportunity to thank Adhomatic and Zivtech especially for their continuing support and patronage. But what I really want to say is that you have me for you the opportunity to be a part of history this weekend. <laughs> Tomorrow is a planned sprint to create one or two thousand instructional videos for the launch of Drupal TV. This is a third New York Drupal camp I've attended. And each of the others have seen the launch of media modules that have transformed the way we handle files in Drupal such as the embedded media module. And the media module itself was initiated here as well, in a series of sprints just four short years ago. I have been told by the organizers of this event that Drupal TV would not be possible without my work. And even though I think that's a bit of an exaggeration, as I stand, as they say, <laughs> on the shoulders of giants, many of them are right here are in this room. It has given me the opportunity to chew your ear a bit tonight. <laughs> it has been a long road to get to the point where we can launch a fully featured, media-rich site that is integrated so seamlessly with our there has been a lot of work that has gone into building the scaffolding in the Drupal Media Project. Many dozens of developers have put many countless hours into hammering together this solution to the puzzle of how to unify all the sometimes competing visions and just how to select and display a piece of media through the browser with Drupal. And don't get me wrong, I'm not claiming that the media suite of modules is the perfect or best out there. Another contender may be waiting right now in the jungle of Drupal contrib. But I will say that one thing we have done with the media team is to have raised the bar for collaboration. Instead of everyone and their grandmother hobbling together a quick fix work around to the limitations of file handling in Drupal core or even in PHP. We have emulated some of the qualities found in core development, but sometimes lacking in contrib, including a willingness to put aside our egos for the common good, a tenacity to see through a problem, and using the issue key to its fullest potential which means a patch doesn't get committed until it's been reviewed and tested by the community. And yes, that slows down development somewhat, so that only now, after four years of tireless development, are we nearly ready for a feature freeze of the second branch of development. But on the other hand, I strongly believe that this helps to make a superior product. As you can install even an unstable release of the media module on a production server, and be rest assured that updating the module later won't break your site. Well, not too badly. <laughs> so what does the future hold for Drupal Media? For one thing, there is an ongoing effort to put the file entity module into Quora. This will short up a few lingering deficits with file handling in Drupal, as well as offering a solid base for competing media solutions, which would allow them to be swapped out safely, leaving the file data intact. Additionally, there are several juicy patches which have recently been committed, such as better metadata handling and the ability to overwrite fields of vowels in the disagreed editor, such as the captions of images. Finally, 
We are nearly ready for the first alpha release of the second branch of development. Beyond that, it's anyone's guess what magic lies in wait for us in Aladdin's land of the internet. <laughs> Embedded smells. Anyone. But I do know that the Drupal community, led by efforts such as here at Drupal Camp Nice and the launch of Drupal TV, will be ready to take on the challenge. Stay strong. And thank you very much. Some fun.